Hello Puppet fans, and welcome to this lecture. In this lab solution we will get the required classes information and resource relationship required to form a Tomcat web server. Ok, so we know the prerequisites to create a web server. So let's understand it before we get our hand dirty. So to configure a Tomcat web server first you need Java package as Tomcat is having dependency on Java package. So you need a module to manage the Java packages. To manage Java package we will create a Java module and inside that module manifest directory we will create a class Tomcat colon colon install .heap to install the Java package. Same like for Tomcat. First we will create a class for Tomcat package installation. And next we will create a service class to start the Tomcat service if not running. Next we will create a config class to manage the Tomcat configuration file. As a result when you will apply the classes on any node you should get a Tomcat web page running on your IP address in port 8080. Now let's take a look what will get installed in Java and Tomcat module. So given in this example for Java, you will have the module directory structure, and inside the module directory you will have the manifest directory which may have one or more classes. Same like for Tomcat module inside manifest directory we will have the install, service, config and other classes. A node definition or node statement is a block of puppet code that will only be included in matching nodes catalogs. This feature allows you to assign specific configurations to specific nodes. Node definitions look like class definitions. The general form of a node definition is The node keyword The name of each node, separated by commas with an optional final trailing comma an opening curly brace any mixture of class declarations variables resource declarations collectors conditional statements chaining relationships and functions a closing curly brace a simple or a single node definition has been given in this example where node 1 will have the java install class and tomcat install and service class. In this example we will have the group definition where multiple nodes can we assigned in same line, if all server are of same role like tomcat web server. Or we can use the regular expression pattern to match the domain or node name of that type. Assigning the classes like this way is not the best solution as your organization's business requirements have become diverse and complex and you got more modules and classes. And you have to write more to include all the individual classes on each node. And this lead a lot of code duplication, confusion and makes it harder to manage because we don't to manage individual nodes. We want to manage the node in logical groups so roles and profiles can really help to group the nodes based on application or operating system. But just to start and to have a good understanding of node definition we will we'll start from the basics to assign the classes manually. Let's summarize the complete exercise before we get into the lab. First we will install the Java module through Java install.pp class. Next we will install the Tomcat package through Tomcat install.pp class. After that we will configure the service class to start the Tomcat services. Next we will configure the config class to manage the Tomcat configuration file. We will also create resource relationship between config file resource and service resource so that whenever there will be any change in file a service will get refreshed due to notify resource metaparameter, and finally you can test the Tomcat web page. Ok, so we have the solution for lab exercise so let's get into the lab and create a Tomcat web server. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to create a Java module.